Okay, so now let's practice actually finding some endpoint or midpoints. So here it says the endpoints are s of r1, negative 3, and s4, 2. Find the coordinates of the midpoint m. So I'm given rs here. I want to find my midpoint m. So you could go ahead and put this on a graph and you can maybe find it, but that doesn't always work. So I'm going to use my midpoint formula. So something that helps me is I go ahead and label my points x1, y1, x2, y2, and then I just plug those into that formula. Or you can just think of it, that first one, you're just adding your x's. So your x's are always that first number. So I'm adding my 1 and my 4. For the second one, I'm adding my y. So that's the second number in each point. So that's going to be negative 3 plus 2. So I'm just going to make a note. Add x's. Add y's. And then from there, I'm just going to simplify. So that's just equal to 1 plus 4, that is 5. Negative 3 plus 2 is negative 1 half. And that m out in front is just labeling that as point m. Okay, let's go ahead and try that again. So now I have these endpoints, and it's asking me to find the midpoint, the coordinates of the midpoint. So I'm going to go ahead and label again. So x1, y1, x2, y2. So I know my midpoint. I have to add my x's together, and I have to add my y's together. Well, my x's, those are just the first coordinate in both of these points. So x1 is 1, plus x2, which is 7. And I'm going to add my y's. So my y1 is 2, and my y2 is 8. One plus seven, I get eight over two. Two plus eight, I get ten over two. Well, eight divided by two, I get four. And then ten divided by two, I get five. So my answer here is m four five. You don't have to put that m out in front. You could have also just put your answer as four five. Here you could have put five halves and negative one half. Either one's okay. Okay, now I'd like you guys to pause the video and try doing that last one on your own. And when you think you have it, go ahead and press play. So your final answer here should have been that the midpoint was negative 5, 4. So again, I want to add my x's. So that's going to be the very first coordinate. And then I want to add my y's. So that's going to be the second coordinate. And then here you need to be careful, it is negative 4 plus negative 6. So that negative is still there. So that's going to be a negative 10. And then both of those simplify to negative 5, 4. Okay, that is it for today. If you want to see some extra examples, that is linked below. If you would like some extra practice, I do have a Google form for you. Otherwise, you can go ahead and move on to the assignment. Have a great rest of your day.